Hello all, welcome to my channel. This is Raj Shekhar and today in this video we will see how to use Databricks command line interface using our local systems. Earlier in the sessions we have seen how to navigate through Databricks file systems using the Databricks platform and you can do the same things using our local system and you can also transfer the files from local systems to the Databricks uh, workspace using these command line interface commands. Uh, we'll also see uh, different basic things like uh, the Databricks version and how to configure Databricks uh, command line interface with your local systems to the Databricks workspace. We'll also test how it is getting connected and then we'll also see uh, there is a concept called Databricks secrets within the Databricks CLIs, uh, wherein you can create different scopes, you can uh, share some or uh, you can save some of the confidential informations like uh, the username and the passwords and you can directly grab these uh, passwords and the usernames using Databricks CLI and then you can directly get these values, these variables uh, in the Databricks notebooks. So to start using Databricks CLI, we need to install uh, the Databricks command line interface using pip install Databricks CLI and then enter. So uh, the Databricks, it is already installed in my system. So to check the version of the Databricks, you need to write Databricks hyphen V. It will show us the Databricks version. And then say for example, if you need to configure our uh, Databricks uh, platform, you need to write Databricks configure using a token. I can write as double hyphen token and then press enter. So it will ask you for uh, entering uh, the host name. And if you go to our uh, Databricks workspace, this is my Databricks workspace. And to let you know, you all, uh, this is my Databricks uh, paid subscription version of this because I could find some uh, issues using this Databricks CLI in uh, the community edition, but the process would exactly remain the same. So I'll be going to back to my terminal and then entering it. Uh, this is the link which we have copied it from uh, the URL and then press enter. So it will prompt for the token and go back to your uh, this thing, Databricks platform. And in the settings, uh, there is a prompt called user settings. And then in this, you can click for access tokens. And from here, you can click on generate new token to get the new tokens. And you can specify the number of days the token is valid for. And then this is for Databricks. I mean, this is just a name, CLI test. Right. So I would generate a new token and this is the only one time which you will be able to see this. So what I would do is I'll copy this and then paste it here and then enter. So just to see whether the Databricks has been configured to uh, write Databricks and then clusters list. So it will give you uh, the running cluster, which is my cluster, the name of uh, the cluster which is running in my Databricks notebooks is my cluster. Just to see, uh, this is the one, this is the one which I'm uh, connected to. So it's up and running. So this Databricks workspace is connected to my command line interface within my local systems. So uh, within this, I can see like Databricks, when, if you could remember, we have done uh, the Databricks utilities like databricks.fs.ls and then press enter. So it will give you all the available uh, folders and files within the Databricks platform, right? You can also write Databricks fs space ls and then write file store. So just to see uh, what are all the uh, files which are available within this and then enter. I think it has to come with dbfs. So we'll write the same thing with dbfs and then you need to give absolute path. And within this, you can also write tables. So there are uh, different files and different folders which I have within my Databricks system. And you can also do the same thing by using dbfs. 
So Databricks file system, you can also have with the LESS DBFS LS file store. B DBFS file store tables, and then you can check it out, right? So this is all the exact uh, files and folders which I already have within my system. And you can do the same thing, like uh, you can also have different uh, basic commands like D Databricks slash H to get the help. So uh, these are all the commands wherein we can uh, uh, get used to it. We can also check the workspace. We can also have different clusters running. We can also have configurations. We can check different pipelines, different reports, and different secrets. And this we will be focusing much on this particular video. So just to clear it out, I'll clear it out. Databricks and then hyphen H will give you the help command. So in this, if you want to see, uh, there is a uh, thing called secrets. Say for example, you want to know about the secrets, what it does and uh, how to use the secrets. You just write Databricks secrets and hyphen H. So any command which you want to use, uh, write Databricks command here and then write the command and then slash the hyphen H will give you the basic uh, help of what it does and what it creates. So what I've done is like I've created uh, different scopes within my uh, uh, local systems and then I've saved some of my passwords which I use for AWS uh, uh, connectivities. So to just to check that Databricks, I will write Databricks and then list scopes, list scopes. So this will, this one, so this will give us the entire scopes which are all uh, uh, saved within my system. I think we need to have, uh, uh, I think uh, we need to write Databricks secrets and then list scopes. So within uh, my local system, I've created a scope called AWS keys and at the back end as Databricks. And if you want to see this, uh, what are all the uh, passwords or uh, the keys which I've uh, shared within this, I've tried it as Databricks secrets list. Uh, I just write uh, list scope. Uh, the name of the scope is AWS keys, AWS keys and then press enter. So uh, within this scope, I mean, uh, I've created a scope called AWS keys and within this keys, I have created an access key, a secret key, and I've also created a Postgres username, right? These are all the secret keys wherein I have created uh, using my Databricks command line interface. We can also create a new scope, Databricks, secrets i'll uh, do one thing i'll create out so i'll uh, create a new scope by writing databricks secrets create scope i will name it as uh, when uh, test scope when this you need to write hyphen hyphen uh, scope and then uh, give a name of your new scope and then press enter. So I think it already exists. So what I would do is test scope two, right? So if I want to see whether my scope is created, secrets list, I would say is hyphen H. I normally forget these things. So what I would do is the secrets and then list scopes. So I have a scope called AWS keys. I have a scope called test scope two and I have a scope called test scope one. Okay. So say for example, I want to add some keys. So say for example, I would see whether it has anything or not. So I would write Databricks secrets list scope. I would write test scope test underscore scope. So the name of this scope. 
just to see whether if I have stored anything in it or not. So it does not have anything. It is just a blank one. Okay. So if at all I have to add a few keys in it, say for example, I would write as Databricks secrets. I would write as put. So this you can see. If at all you can, you if you want to have some uh, passwords to be saved, you can either write as put or you can write as see, uh, right? So for now, I will be doing this as put. And then help. Okay. So what it does is like uh, you need to specify the string value and the key value, if at all you have. So I would write as data bricks secrets put I would write as scope the scope name is test scope which we have just created and I would write as the key as uh, test key the name of the key this is nothing now here you want to uh, write a string value uh, similar to this string value as text right string value say for example i want to save the password as one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is my password this is the key which i want to refer and this is the test scope and i would write as enter now it has created so i want to see uh, whether it is created or not data bricks secrets list hyphen hyphen scope test scope which I have just created and I have added the test key in it. So you can see the test key, the name of the key has been added to our thing and it does not have any value in it. Uh, it, it contains a value but it is stored within uh, the Databricks platform itself, within the Databricks local system itself. So just to grab this test key in our Databricks uh, platform, how to do it? So I'll go back to my Databricks uh, platform. So this is my Databricks platform. I want to grab that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever we have added in that with this. So what I would do is like uh, say for example, key is, I would write as DB utils. And just to make sure that my cluster is running, DB utils, I would write as secrets dot get. I would write the name of the scope that is test scope which you have just created and then which key like test key I'm not sure if all are capital letters or small letters we'll see I think uh, this is redacted just to make sure that our key itself is the test key so this is the test key which we have uh, stored. So if you could print out this key, it will show you as redacted. It means it is secured. But however, uh, there is a way to find it out for I in key. I could write as print I. Right. So this will give me uh, the values which I've shared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. But however, if you want to save these things and use these variables, say for example, while connecting to our AWS uh, S3 buckets or Postgres uh, SQL servers or any other things, we need to uh, have these values so that we can connect to those things. And we can sell, save these variables without showing any of uh, our secret confidential information to any of our users. So this is how we use the secrets. Now we will see how to uh, configure our uh, community edition data bricks. So for that, we need to head back to our uh, community edition. So this is my community edition. So I would just grab this URL. Okay. So like we have done earlier, we write it as data bricks configure. But this time 
uh, for the community edition if you could remember like we are, earlier we have uh, clicked here on settings and user settings here we had some access token button here earlier for the uh, paid version of uh, Databricks but for uh, the community edition it does not have the things so how do we do that so uh, without token we can write as Databricks configure and then I would press enter so it would ask for uh, the uh, user interface for uh, the URL so I would uh, copy this URL and I would paste it here and then enter so now it would ask for username and the password earlier it was asking for the token for the paid version of Databricks now we have to give our username so my username is I'm just giving all my details but I'll be deleting this account very soon so this is my uh, username and then I would write the password just a minute And it will ask for the confirmation of the password and then done so uh, this has configured my Databricks uh, community edition so I would see Databricks version and I would also see Databricks clusters if at all it has anything clusters and list now if you could see uh, these are all different clusters which I had it like this have just started for our uh, demo purpose this is pending and this are all terminated so I'll go back to my uh, Databricks platform just to make sure that this is the one which is connected so these two are uh, disconnected and you cannot uh, restart these things in community edition for uh, paid editions you can always restart the clusters and you can always have uh, the connections uh, up and running so now this is done so now it earlier it was showing as pending but now if you could see that this is ready so just to check it out I'll write the same command again now it will show it is running earlier it was pending within this five seconds it has started running so you can use the community edition similar to the paid ones like you have done earlier like Databricks FS LS enter it will show you all the files files and folders within uh, these things file store and you can copy tables you can uh, transfer files from your local system to the Databricks workspace but somehow uh, the community edition uh, does not work properly in terms of Databricks CLI just to make sure that uh, if at all you have uh, any issues or any errors running Databricks uh, CLI within the community edition just uh, make sure that this is normal and nothing to worry about it so maybe you might not be able to use uh, Databricks CLI and I would also want to show you that uh, within Databricks uh, community edition uh, I'm unfortunately we cannot uh, use these secrets uh, in the community edition just to make sure that uh, it has uh, so it gives an error message uh, the secret API is not supported for this workspace so this is a community edition workspace and this will not work in the community edition the secrets uh, so we are unable to grab the confidential information from our local systems to the Databricks workspace through community edition but there is a way of uh, using our secrets without showing uh, to any of your users we can uh, create uh, a separate spark data frame and then we can extract those values within the Databricks platform itself so in the next video I'll show you how to grab those things and then we'll also connect to AWS S3 buckets uh, we'll also transfer different files from uh, Databricks platform to AWS S3 buckets and uh, that's it for this video and thank you all thank you very much for watching thanks a lot